Yeah, sure. You can always have contact and communication with coaches when you're younger, your freshman, sophomore year. You can go to their camps when you're younger and have conversations. Uh, but you're actually not recruitable until your junior year when you start your first semester in the fall of your junior year. And that's when you become recruitable age for baseball. That's when you can start to be contacted by coaches by phone. That's when you can start the conversations of the recruiting process, taking unofficial visits, official visits. But that doesn't happen until your junior year. So up until that point, you're, you're basically a, a player that can go to camp and you can, you can have contact at camp. You can be seen by coaches at a younger age, but those coaches necessarily, they can't speak to you after an event or during an event from a recruitable standpoint until after your junior year. There's also a, a piece where when you're at, at an event, those coaches cannot talk to your athletes until the event is over. So they can come to the hotel and talk to your kids after the event if you're at a recruitable age and it's not a dead period, but none of that can take place inside of the event. I mean, there's casual conversations between parents and coaches. There's casual conversations between players and coaches. Hi, coach. How you doing? Nice to see you. But once it goes beyond that point, it, it, that's not supposed to happen. There's not supposed to be a, a recruiting talk or an offer given verbally until after you start your junior year uh, of high school in the fall. <laughs> 